Well, good day everyone and thank you for joining me uh, from live from the city of North Miami. I'm Hudson uh, Robillard from the CPA office of Hudson Robillard and Company. Uh, today, the 26th day of the month of September, some 16 days since Hurricane Irma literally battered uh, the state of Florida. Uh, the stats are staggering. Uh, the estimated damages has reached over billions of dollars since Hurricane Irma. A uh, number of events have taken place. Uh, we have Hurricane Jose, Hurricane Maria, pretty much doubling uh, down on the devastation in areas that were already severely hit uh, by Hurricane Irma. The U.S. Virgin Islands, uh, the British Islands, the Caribbean Islands, St. Croix, Antigua, uh, Puerto Rico, St. Martin, my good friends, Fritz, Isaac, Stage Strong, my brother, I know things haven't been easy for you and, and all the families over there. And of course, the seven point uh, magnitude earthquake that hit uh, Mexico, over 320 lives lost, over millions and millions of dollars in damages. And of course, remembering our neighboring states of Texas, in particular the city of Houston, uh, that were pretty much submerged in com complete devastation uh, weeks before Irma uh, throughout Hurricane Harvey. Harvey. Uh, these past few days, I've reached out to a number of friends, uh, clients in the QS area, uh, homestead area, to show, uh, pretty much ask how they're doing and how they're recovering from all the efforts. My favorite client in the homestead area, uh, Pastor uh, Aaron Sol Do Seville, I hope to visit your church uh, very soon, so stay strong, uh, my pastor. I've always really been amazed with people's response to natural disasters as if uh, the way there's a way uh, they have a way of bringing out really the best of, of us of human nature in the aftermath of all of these events you can see people uh, helping each other rescue one another there's truly no sense of ego party affiliation whether you're black white Jews Hispanic gay straight or lesbian uh, we see people uh, just uh, in need of a helping hand we just extend ours uh, I hope uh, to see this spirit uh, become the norm in our daily lives since it feels as if our best moments and strengths are always when we come together as one to overcome uh, challenges. Uh, this is a time where people have millions of questions, you know, looking for answers everywhere. It's truly the responsibility of all of us, uh, those charged with advising, uh, to step up and be a facilitator to soften people's anxiety uh, by providing comfort, uh, great guidance, and sharing quality information uh, and direction to resources as to what type of assistance are available and where we go from here. Uh, the past few days, I've, I've gathered a number of emails and information about local, state, and federal resources in a wide range of areas, both individual and businesses that I'm going to uh, share with you uh, very quickly. Uh, events and, 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 and resources that are available out there and how to access them, and I know people are talking about a lot of stuff with FEMA and, 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 and other local resources. As Eric and Irma was approaching the state, we know the, the, the state of Florida governor, Rick Scott, pretty much declared a state of emergency on September 4th, 2017, which pretty much mobilized a number of state resources uh, to begin the preparation for the hurricane, sort of like going through a little bit of a timeline of events of what happened uh, before. On September 10th, we have President Trump pretty much uh, approve major disaster declaration for Florida, allowing for federal resources to be deployed to provide assistance to those affected. And on September uh, 11, 2017, the Small Business Administration issued a press release to offer disaster assistance to Florida residents. On September 13, Governor Scott again issued a press release to activate the Florida Emergency Bridge Loan Program for small businesses. I'll give you a little more detail on that as I go through uh, this, this, this broadcast. At this point, let's categorize the assistance out there in terms of what's there for individual versus what's there uh, for businesses. On a personal impact, if, if you uh, sustain losses because of the hurricane or was without electricity, you, you definitely can apply for assistance uh, from FEMA. 
uh, by registering online at www.disasterassistance.gov. If you don't have access to the internet, you can call them 800-621-FEMA. Also, there are a number of local uh, nonprofit organizations and municipalities that are partnering with FEMA to provide site application assistance. For example, SOTLA, uh, the Haitian Neighborhood uh, Center, is a nonprofit organization where you can get assistance with a number of, of things uh, like FEMA application, uh, unemployment assistance claim, uh, application for mortgage forbearance application for public uh, benefits, uh, a, a number of, of other things they can assist you there. I also know that uh, the, the city of, uh, of Miramar will host uh, a, a social town meeting on September 30th, 2017. Uh, from all, I believe from 10 a.m. to noon, so you should attend if you had any issue, property damage or losses during the hurricane. Now, uh, what are some of the things you can get assistance for in general once you log on to the disaster uh, assistance at Gulf? There, there is a questionnaire uh, and you will be asked about nine different questions, uh, preliminarily trying to do an, an assessment to determine uh, what sort of help and, and whether you qualify for anything. You may need assistance uh, in the following different categories. I see people uh, that are looking for jobs, employment, their, their financial uh, issues, their, their food, their housing. Obviously a number of folks had uh, significant issues uh, with their housing, uh, legal, medical, uh, uh, etc. So there are a number of, 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 of assistance out there as it relates to that. I've also received a few phone calls relating to blue tarp. Uh, if you have roof damages because of the hurricane, you can get a blue tarp roof, uh, and there's a toll-free number, I believe, they've put out there for you to call. That is 888-766-3257. And, and if you need information in Spanish, there is a number there as well. Now, to qualify uh, with the blue, uh, for the blue tarp, there's conditions. You're going to have to allow workers to get onto the property. you got to have less than 50% of that uh, damages and all that. And you got to sign a right of entry uh, order to allow these uh, individuals who are uh, pr pretty much manned from uh, Corps of Engineers employees to, to access the property. So they work pretty much from 8 to 6 p.m. And there's also a location uh, at, at Homestead where there, there, there is a center where you can go and do your application there. Obviously, the plastic uh, that you get is something very temporary to, to protect you for, for, for the meantime until you basically hire a qualified professional to help you with that. There is also a list of other assistants are there for veterans that may need medication. Obviously, the VA hospital and there is a VA hotline set for you that you may call. Uh, mental health, people that are experiencing mental health, emotional distress uh, may call that, that number as well. And as well as uh, tax relief for Floridian. Now, this is, um, this is one of the area that I, I truly want to talk, uh, I, I want to take a, a few more minutes to talk about tax relief and recovery and loans recovery uh, uh, from the Small Business Administration providing various types of loans to qualify uh, for Radian in all the counties that were basically impacted uh, by this. And obviously there's a number of information that they also have available on their website that you can go and, and see what's available there on their website. There's also the U.S. Department of Agriculture uh, that's providing uh, loans and assistance to qualified individual as well. Uh, business and communities after disaster, uh, usually you, you, you may be able to get more information on their, on their website as well. And there's a, a number that you can call this 352-338-3400. Now, mortgage relief. Um, obviously, there are some people that are looking for temporary assistance with their mortgage uh, where they may stop payment for up to 12 months. There's a suspension of late fees and all that. So you may want to also visit Freddie Mac uh, website uh, to get a bit more information on that. Uh, the other part uh, that I wanted to talk about uh, is, is uh, the IRS tax relief. Tax relief for victims of Hurricane Irma in Florida. Well, after September 4th, uh, there were parts of Florida that started to be impacted once the governor uh, declared a state of emergency 
And since uh, President Trump has decided that a major disaster exists in the state of Florida following the uh, recent disaster de uh, declaration for individual uh, assistance issued by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, IRS has stepped up, uh, basically announced uh, for those taxpayers affected in Florida, there will be, uh, there are some tax relief available. The IRS is now offering expended relief to all areas, that is all the 67 counties within the state may qualify for uh, some sort of individual or public assistance uh, within, within Florida. Individual who resides or have a business uh, uh, in any of the counties, uh, whether it's uh, Broward County or Baker uh, County or uh, Miami-Dade County, rather, or Washington counties, may qualify for tax relief. And, 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 and there is obviously uh, some specifics uh, to that that I'm going to get to uh, in a little bit. Now, since IRS announced significant tax relief for victim of Hurricane Irma, those in Florida who have been affected uh, by the storm have until January uh, 2018 to file certain individual and business tax return and make certain tax payment. Uh, this include an additional filing extension for taxpayers with a valid extension through October 16 and businesses with extension uh, through October, uh, September 15. So those states are critical and very important that you understand if you had some sort of requirements uh, for as of those dates, what you would basically need to do. Here's what the tax relief pretty much entail. We talk about tax filing and payments deadlines, which begin uh, starting September 4th, uh, 2017, that will be pushed until January 31st, uh, 2018. That means tax returns and payments that were originally due during the period, including the September 15, 2000, uh, September 15, 2017, and January 16, 2018 deadlines for making quarterly estimated tax payment will now be January 31st. This also includes returns that were put on extension. Remember that um, extension uh, are an extension of time to file, not time to pay. So if payments for 2016 tax return uh, were due and they're still due for as of April 18, 2017 due date, so that doesn't change. Relief also includes a waiver of late deposit penalties for federal payroll and excess tax, tax deposit normally due on or after October 31st, 2017. So the IRS is pretty much waiving uh, late deposits, penalties, federal tax payroll and excise uh, uh, tax deposit normally due on or after September 4th. Uh, and, and, and before September 19, so long those deposits were made, uh, okay, made by September 19, which means <laughs> by today, September 2016, you should have already uh, made those federal tax deposits to qualify for an abatement. Technically, generally speaking, the IRS automatically uh, provides filing and general relief to any taxpayer with an IRS addressed of record located within the disaster area. That means the, for taxpayer that do not need contact, you do not need to contact the IRS to get this relief. However, if you do receive a tax, uh, a, a late filing or a late payment penalty notice from the IRS and we're notified, um, we're entitled to relief, you should call the number on the notice uh, to have the penalty abated. Now, if you don't want to go that route, you can always contact my office or call me directly at 305-610-9819 and I'll take care of it for you. Again, you can call me directly at 305-610-9819. Now, with regard to access to Small Business Administration Hurricane Resources, according to the SBA's website, uh, more specifically a message from the SBA Administrator, there obviously uh, there was an onslaught of powerful hurricane over the past few weeks that have posed major challenges and affected communities throughout the United States. Resident businesses uh, will likely be rebuilding uh, from this hurricane and for years to come. So it will take quite of an effort to support this recovery 
uh, effort for all of those. So the Small Business Administration have some resources that are available, like the SBA loan, interest loan to support long-term recovery of those areas that are affected by the disaster, like uh, homeowners, uh, renters, businesses of all sizes, including nonprofit organizations, can apply for uh, this loan. I'll do another uh, session just to talk specifically about the the loans relating to the Small Business Administration. The other thing you could do is visit SBA Hurricane Recovery page to apply for uh, a disaster loan online and get updates on the status of your loan application and for information on location and 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 uh, of all local recovery centers in the area. So you'll find a lot of information there. The third thing is uh, the SBA is pretty much offering temporary position at, at multiple locations. These are jobs opening for lawyers, loan specialists, customer service representative, construction analyst, administrative support staff, and IT specialists. So you can go to Hurricane Response job link for position description to submit uh, your resume. The final and fourth thing uh, as it relates to the SBA uh, there are many local contracting opportunities for small businesses able to provide fast uh, uh, service um, and need products for those affected by the disaster. So if you want to do business directly with, with FEMA uh, and your business is located in a disaster area, you could be eligi eligible for something they call industry liaison program. Uh, FEMA also has a list of local contracting opportunities on its website. So as a business owner, if you or anyone you know uh, that may qualify for any of this program uh, need assistance to make a decision or would like to discuss it further, uh, feel free to refer them to my office or call me uh, directly for further discussion. I'd be uh, more than happy to uh, meet with them and, and discuss some of these options here. Uh, my direct line again is 305-610-9819. You can always uh, get me there. Now, let's do a...